The handy inhaler is an egg-shaped inhalation device used primarily by patients with COPD. It's comprised of five parts. The lid, mouthpiece, capsule chamber, piercing button, and the base. The device works by piercing holes in a capsule of medication, which is taken into the lungs when inhaling. To use the handy inhaler, begin by removing a capsule from the blister pack. Fold and separate the two blister strips. Tear the foil strips straight down to reveal the capsule. The capsules are sensitive to light and moisture, so be sure to expose only one capsule at a time right before use. Now the capsule is ready to be loaded. Begin by pulling the lid upwards. Next, lift the mouthpiece open. Place just one Spireva capsule in the capsule chamber. It doesn't matter which way the capsule is placed in the chamber. Next, close the mouthpiece firmly until a click is heard. Leave the lid open. Hold the hand inhaler with the mouthpiece upwards. Immediately before use, press the piercing button in once and release. This puts holes in the capsule through which the medication is released when the user breathes in. Breathing into the mouthpiece at any time should be avoided, as this will interfere with the medication. Instruct the patient to sit in an upright position and breathe out completely. Raise the hand inhaler to the mouth and close the lips around the mouthpiece. Now breathe in slowly and deeply until the lungs are full. As you inhale, you should hear the capsule vibrate. The vibration ensures that the device is being used properly. Remove the hand inhaler from your mouth and hold your breath for a minimum of 10 seconds or for as long as is comfortable. Exhale, taking care not to blow into the device. Inhale a second time to empty the capsule completely. Hold the breath for as long as possible and exhale. There are several important points that should be made clear to hand inhaler users. First, as mentioned previously, capsules are light and moisture sensitive, so only expose one at a time and only immediately before use. Since patients often forget to puncture the capsule prior to use, the importance of doing so should be strongly emphasized. Proper operation of the device does require a fair degree of manual dexterity, so a hand inhaler might not be appropriate for some patients. Since the medication can be quite painful if rubbed into the eyes, the used capsule should be dumped into the garbage and not handled directly. Be sure to wash hands after use. Occasionally, a patient will mistakenly swallow the capsule. This will not harm the patient as the medication will be absorbed through the gastrointestinal tract. However, the patient should be advised not to use the hand inhaler that day. The hand inhaler should be cleaned once a month or as needed. Since the device takes about 24 hours to air dry completely, the best time to clean the device is immediately after use. That way it will be ready for the next dose on the following day. Begin by opening the lid and lifting out the mouthpiece. Next, rinse the hand inhaler with warm water to remove any powder. Never use soap, just rinse with water. And never put the hand inhaler in the dishwasher. After rinsing, tip out excess water and leave the lid, mouthpiece, and base open for air drying. <laughs>